Hello and welcome back to a Kooky Corner of YouTube. Today I'm having a look at this beautiful book by Melissa Bradley. It's called Kawaii Crochet Garden. Yeah, if you know me, you'll know that I do love a, I do love me a bit of amigurumi and crochet in general. Um, I have previously bought another book by Melissa Bradley. I don't know if she advertises in here. Ah, there one. That one there. Kawaii Crochet, which I actually love. I've also got that one as well. That wasn't a Melissa Bradley one, I don't think. Crochet, crochet Donut Buddies. <laughs> this one just caught my eye and I thought, you know what? Everyone needs some of these beautiful things in their life. So... It's a really bright, colourful book. It goes through all the usual tools and materials that you're going to need. Some colour theory. And then it goes through the colours to uh, give you all your different plants. And some creatures as well. Because we get this worm and I am in love with that worm. Um, he looks super cool. And I know somebody would love him actually. <laughs> But yeah, there's so many beautiful, beautiful, different things in here. We've got the iris bulb, forget me not. I did see as well, there it was, the poinsettia, which is very apt for this time of year. Who wouldn't want one of those sat on their desk? <laughs> oh, I want to make all of them. I like that snail as well. Very much into that snail. Um... A fan <laughs> so cute so i think in this book um i'm not going to go through everything in here obviously so things that you need um pipe cleaners floor wire fiber fill stuffing crochet hooks stitch markers and hot glue gun i've got all of those <laughs> other things toy safety eyes scissors yarn needle cotton yarn pens and wire cutters got those as well so we're all good to go so all i need to do is to pick one of these things to have a go at um i'm veering towards that worm i have to say <laughs> he's a quick and simple thing that i could probably make oh i love him so much i think i might have to make a worm <laughs> so the yarn is cotton double knitting i have got some of that I probably got some in either of those two bits as well. Uh, 20 gauge floral wire. I presume that's so you can position him as well. Oh, I'm going to have a go. So I'm going to go and gather my supplies. I'm not going to show you all the details and everything because that's not fair because you need to come buy the book. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's just one of those things you can probably borrow from a library as well so do check out your library you don't actually have to buy it you could go and have a look have a look in your local library or order it in your local library it's going to be a lot cheaper than buying the book itself uh, i'm not sure whether it was on kindle unlimited as well so if you're a kindle unlimited member it's always worth checking out what's available <laughs> but i'm going to go and get my materials to make this worm because i'm really desperate to see what he's going to look like now I'll film the process as I go along so that you can see how well I can follow the instructions in the book. <laughs> Sometimes not so well, I have to say, but I'm going to have a go. OK, so I'll be back and you'll be able to see the process from beginning to end of me making a worm. It will be faster uh, than I am actually making it because <laughs> I'm not Superwoman. Uh, wish I was sometimes, uh, but yeah, going to go and get my supplies. <laughs>
Nobody likes me, everybody hates me, I think I'm gonna eat worms. <laughs> I won't eat you, I promise. Look how cute. He was a bit tricky getting his wire in and I think um, I'd have to think of another way to get his wire into him because it's it was just a bit tricky getting it in but I think he's quite cute and I do love him he needs a name though so if anybody's got any apt worm names please pop them down in the description box <laughs> because worms who doesn't like a nice little worm I kind of want to give him a bow tie and um, yeah <laughs> but I want to put a bow tie on everything near enough so the book again is this beautiful kawaii crochet garden by melissa bradley you can make yourself a worm i made him in a bigger size than it was in the book uh, in the book he was i think it's a uh, double knitting and i made him in an, an aran cotton so um just because i wanted him to be a little bit bigger uh, but i've now got a worm pal <laughs> And I've got a friend who might like a worm pal as well. So it looks like I'm going to be crocheting worms for the foreseeable. <laughs> anyway, if you're interested in that, go and check it out. As I say, a really good book. Loads of different plants and flowers are, along with worms and butterflies and all the other jazz. You even got a little spade down there. <laughs> a little trowel. Seeds. <laughs> so yeah. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself for the past couple of hours. Uh, I know you've not been with me for a couple of hours, but that's probably how long it's taken me to, to finish him up and everything. Um, I've learned a couple of new things about finishing up Amigurumi as well. So win-win. <laughs> anyway, that's enough from me for now. Have a great day and I will see you very soon back here with something else. Bye for now.